First grade, week 26, chemistry fun. Teachers, you're just going to love me this week because we're going to do a fun lab that's really messy. But the end result is a lot of fun. We're going to make some bouncy balls out of some different chemicals that are very harmless. And the kids will have lots of fun playing with them. And this is... You know, always a safety precaution. The kids don't need to taste anything. It's not edible. So nothing goes in your mouth. This is really, and I've tried to take the recipe and cut it down so that first grade can do this on their own. And you will have fourth grade helpers helping you set up. You start with a little container of glue. And you're probably wondering how much. That's a tablespoon. But, you know, I've done this several times now, and it's not real important. So I'm just going to pick my iPad up and just zoom in on that glue so you can see how much it is. I just let it roll into that little cup, and I'm going to hold that cup up so that you can see about how much that is. So let me focus. I found out it's not real important to measure the glue. So we're going to have the glue. I'm going to move this out of the way so we can see. And to that uh, glue, you'll add one drop of food coloring. Now, this is where the kids have to be careful. Uh, it just takes a drop. Just They can just drop it right in the middle there. And what I've done is added one drop. It doesn't take more than that because it's going to be a very small amount. It's gonna be, this is all just one drop. So tell them not to waste it because food coloring is no longer 99 cents a box. It's now three over $3 a box. So when you take all the kids you have in first grade and you do all those drops and they waste it, then we just can't do activities like this if they waste. So they need to learn the importance of measuring their amounts out so that they can keep doing these activities. Then we take cornstarch which this, I also found out they don't need very much. Tell them this. If they get too much, if they think more is better, then they're going to find out that their ball's going to crumble. Of course, they don't know what they're making yet. Uh, if they put too much cornstarch in the ball, it's going to fall apart. So tell them that they'll ruin the chemical reaction in their ball if they put too much. So I'm going to show you how much to get and we're just going to put a tiny little amount on that spoon if you were doing this with measuring spoons which all of our measuring spoons that we have here they all have different they have mls on them so that doesn't help you so i thought a little teaspoon like this might help because that's a teaspoon and you want about a half and they don't know fractions yet so it's about that much so I could take the spoons, put a mark on them, and it would help them. And we're going to put that in our glue. So now we have our glue mixed up with cornstarch. Or that's not mixed up, but we have drop food coloring in. Now they're only going to do this once. They're not going to make ball after ball after ball because we don't have enough glue to do that. So they need to choose their wa no, uh, color wisely because they're not going to be able to change once they put the color in. Then what we have is a borax solution. Borax is a laundry booster that gets your clothes clean, but it has a lot of chemicals in it makes this work. Uh, we use borax a lot in different types of chemical reactions in the science lab. I actually use the 5 ml spoon here. Um, when you come in to your lab, you may have a different spoon because I am going to go see if I can find something that makes a little more sense for kids, something they're familiar with, like tablespoons, teaspoons, although that's not the scientific way. Now, let me stir this borax up. I'm going to have this solution already made for you. Because this is the part that's tricky if you don't get it right. So I'm stirring up the borax. And then I'm going to get 5 ml and put it in my little cup there with my color. 
everybody's going to have a little stir stick. And here's the important part. Instead of stirring immediately, they need to let that just kind of make a reaction there. Uh, I'm just going to kind of brush that cornstarch down and let it sit. Set about 20 seconds. Now I'm going to start stirring. And this gets really messy. The good part about it is if they get the glue all over them, the borax solution will take the glue off them and deactivate it. So I'm trying to get my color stirred up in there. And now I can't do any more. So I'm going to pick it up my hand and I'm going to roll it. Now I'm going to get food coloring on me. And yes, they might get it on their clothes if they're careless. Or they may not. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take my hands and pick up that glue that's stuck to my hands because I'm still mixing. So it takes a little, you know, a few seconds for this reaction to take place. And I'm getting a really good ball here. And I can squeeze it. And as you squeeze it, you make that mixture. You're mixing it better. And pretty soon, you're going to have a ball that bounces. And this has now become a polymer that allows it to have a property of bounce. That's one thing you can tell the kids, you know. You start out with glue and lick powders and liquids, and all of a sudden you have something that bounce. So you have a chemical reaction that took place in that glue. Now they can store these in plastic bags, and they'll last them a week. So I will provide a little snack bag for everybody to take theirs back to their classroom and they can take it home. But I'm going to kind of turn my iPad and I'm going to throw this, these balls. And you can these have set and dried a little bit. The blue one I just made is a little damp. As they dry, they bounce better. Here goes the blue one. All right out of the camera. Here goes the pink one. Here goes the purple one. Can't see that. The green, whoops. None of these are bouncing into the camera. So, they are bouncing all over the room. I know you're just going to love this activity.